Hi, I'm Red the Cooking Dad and welcome back to my channel. Last night I was cooking dinner and my wife was asking me, Hey, did you change the temperature of the house? I said, no, I didn't. Well, it's so cold. I didn't realize it because I was cooking. And of course, I said, I look into it later. What I actually meant was, I'm going to look at the number for the electrical people to look into the furnace. And I think it can wait tomorrow. As I was thinking about it, I realized that although we have a heater in our room, I don't want my family to be cold. So what I did was try to research. As it turns out, a lot of the issues with furnace is actually very easy to fix. So stick around as I show you how I fixed my furnace and saved me a lot of money. Because you know, just by calling the technician, for them to come over is already $75. And who knows what else they will tell you. But this time, I fixed it myself. And my family was so happy. So stick around as I show you how I did it. So this is my furnace. And it's a Duquesne brand. So the problem I have was that when I try to turn on the furnace, it turns on for maybe five seconds and then it turns off. So I'm guessing that it's trying to fire up, but then it turns off. By the way, I already fixed this yesterday. I cannot show you what was the issue, but I'm trying to describe that that was the issue. So what we're gonna do is first try to turn off the furnace. So mine is a switch, so I just turn it off so that it won't get electrocuted. Then I'm gonna open my box, the furnace box. So just using a screw. So there's two of them here. So I'm just gonna unscrew it. Then you kind of pull this down. So here is the furnace. Going, I, what I'm going to show you is actually try to fix the sensor. This has a sensor right here and it is secured by a bolt. So I'm just going to un unscrew that to get the sensor out. So it's a little tricky to pull this, but all you have to do really is just pull this out. There's an angle underneath and, and then take it in an angle. So it is like an L shape. This is an L shape sensor. It's the heat sensor. So over time, what happens is that this sensor gets rusty or dirty because it got hit by the flame. So what you needed to do is just clean it. So I'm using this dish pad here and I'm using the other side of it where it's more abrasive. So what I do is just try to rub it and take all that rust or dirt Make sure that the rust or any soot or black material here is gone. Do a good scrubbing and then insert it back. So there's an angle here because it's an L shape, right? So just put it back like the way it was. And then when it goes in there, it also kind of hard to see but it's also an angle so it's it's like it will be vertical up there the L shape will be facing up so what I'm gonna do is just secure it back with the pliers and 
and then you turn it back on you'll see it will start and then the flame will light up started and now that is how it worked so I'm just gonna put this back just push it up There you go. Thanks for watching and hope that this video will work for you and you can save some money.